So, I've been watching Twin Peaks recently. It's a show that is written and directed by David Lynch, or well, the first season is, but I haven't watched season 2, so I don't know if what I'm about to say also applies to that. But Twin Peaks does something with its setup that is so unorthodox and strange that I almost wasn't going to make this video. Wyatt Nails is the show where we analyze one aspect of a story that was executed very well so that you can use it in your stories as well. But David Lynch does something in Twin Peaks that is so absurd that I think it can harm or even ruin your story if you try to do it yourself without perfect execution. But before we can look at how Lynch sets things up, let's look at what setup is and why it's important. Setup and payoff is the bread and butter of screenwriting. You have to set everything up in your story before you can pay it off. Otherwise, it will feel like it comes out of nowhere. Take the force as an example. Imagine watching this scene. Without knowing what the force is. That would be weird, right? But it doesn't feel weird because the writers clearly explained what the force is to the audience, so it doesn't feel like it comes out of nowhere. So make sure to set everything up before you pay it off. This doesn't have to be obvious. It would be really stupid to set up who the killer is in a murder mystery at the start of the story, because the whole point of a murder mystery is finding out who the murderer is at the end. But you can still set up who did it by giving some hints to make it feel like it didn't come out of nowhere. So yeah, setup just means that you have to explain parts of the world and story to your audience before you can use them. Otherwise, it will feel like they come out of nowhere. So, Twin Peaks is basically what you get when you throw Gravity Falls and Stranger Things into a blender. Only this was made a million years before those shows. So it's about a town where weird shit happens. You have a ton of drama, characters and some cool mysteries. There happens a lot in the show and it's all pretty fucking weird. Like, there is someone who speaks backwards about gum while he's dancing. Yeah, it's that weird. There is also this lady who talks to a log. Like, this show is full of weird shit. But you need a lot of setup because there is so much going on. But it never at any point feels boring, which is weird. Because a lot of setup can feel boring when it's just characters explaining parts of the world. And there is a lot of exposition in the show. So you would think it would be the same here, but no, it actually doesn't feel boring at all. Setup should always be disguised as something else, to make the story less predictable and boring. Disguising your setup might sound easy to pull off, but it's really not. Even the greatest stories can fail at this. So you can become a cyber psycho if you have too much implants? I wonder if David is going to become a cyber psycho. Oh wow, David is a cyber psycho, how surprising. But anyway, how do you hide exposition? Well. Most of the time, you just make the exposition feel like a natural conversation. But the viewer will most of the time be able to tell exactly when you are setting stuff up, even if you pull this off extremely well. And the story becomes a lot more predictable when the viewer knows what will happen. David Lynch found a way around this that is so strange and it's just so David Lynch. If you don't know, David Lynch is known for making just insane films. His least weird movie is about a guy driving through America on a fucking lawnmower. Yeah, that's his most normal movie. I'm sure you are all wondering what Lynch's solution is to this problem. So, what did he do? He just made the setup part of his world. As I already said, Twin Peaks is really weird. A lot of random crazy shit happens for no reason at all. And Lynch uses this by making the setup a part of that. There is a really good scene that I want to use as an example. The main character, Agent Cooper, is questioning a guy about a murder. When suddenly, the guy says that there was a fish in the coffee. This makes for a very funny moment, but it also does something else. The fish in the coffee is never brought up again, because it's just one of the random things that happens in Twin Peaks. But it could have been set up. It could have been. There are so many things in this show that could be set up, that the viewer never knows where the story is gonna go, because any one of those random weird things could be the most important piece of setup in the entire show. And some of these random things are important setup, but many of these weird things are also just never brought up again. There is so much information 
there are so much random things and there are so much weird scenes in this show that it's impossible to guess which things are plot relevant and which ones are just random Twin Peaks things. This is not the only way Lynch uses these weird things by the way. See, by creating these weird moments all the time, he's also telling the audience that anything could happen at any moment to make the story even more unpredictable. He also uses this for Pope in the Pool, which means that the viewer is distracted by a weird emotion while crucial setup is being fed to them. But you don't realize that the show is just throwing exposition at you because you are still thinking about that emotion you just felt. The fish in the coffee scene is a great example of this. Cooper is talking about important plot information, but you just don't really care because there was a fish in his coffee. Like, how do you come up with that? So David Lynch made his story extremely unpredictable by giving the viewer a ton of unnecessary information to make it impossible to find out what information is actually important setup until the payoff happens. This could have gone wrong in so many different ways. It will feel incredibly out of place if the information overload does not fit in your world or story. For example, a simple character driven story that doesn't need a lot of setup. So this strategy would just ruin the simplicity. The audience will stop caring about the information if you don't have enough payoffs to prove that some of the weird things are actually important. The strategy of giving the viewer way too much information to make the story less predictable is the weirdest thing I have ever seen in a story. But it works because David Lynch executed it perfectly. And it makes Twin Peaks the most unpredictable story I've ever seen. I don't want you to use information overload in your stories. Because Twin Peaks is the only story that I have seen to have ever pulled it off successfully. But I do hope you learned something about setup and payoff. And most importantly, about how crazy and genius David Lynch really is. Oh yeah, also, do you guys want me to talk more about video games? Because my first gaming video had the most positive reception I've ever had on a video. So like, I can make gaming videos if you guys want me to. Just leave it down in the comments.